When the snow starts falling on our mountain peaks, to me it's always a magical event. It is almost a spell, an enchantment, the act of going to sleep at night with a specific view of my landscape and wake up with a landscape that looks totally different. today <laughs> your favorite <laughs> changing the tires for sure from summer no. tires to winter tires This is uh, the shed of uh, Grandpa. It's the place where he used to keep all the tools that were necessary for living in uh, such a harsh place, you know, a place where you can uh, repair things, fix things. It's, um, there is a lot of his uh, soul he has left um, here. I think you can really feel it a lot. He passed away last winter, so we miss him greatly. And often we come to this place, we take care of it, making sure that all the tools are in their place because uh, it's, it's our way to to keep him close uh, to, to our hearts because he cared a lot about this place. I remember every time I come here, there is a story that pops up in my head. Mm, one of the stories that he used to tell, for example, he told us that um, uh, it was roughly 30 years ago and uh, he, they saw um, it was a huge light on, uh, on the house right next to their house, you know, it was hovering um, over the house, you know, it was like kind of floating over the house and they didn't understand what it could have been. They've always thought it was a UFO actually there. So um, very, very beautiful encounter if it was, uh, if it's been uh, the case or if it's been like that. feel stuck in our lives uh, in the same repetitiveness it's not really life uh, to die it's our ability to feel and see life that is dying in us if i look around me nothing seems to rush uh, to experience uh, anything else but the infinite possibilities that the day holds everything seems to deeply enjoy the chant of the snow she chants about a glow, the simple enchantment of belonging to ourselves, of valuing our uniqueness as individuals. Stella. These are points of observation I truly treasure, as they have the power to open up our life to us. They're everywhere on the road. I never turn my back to the first snow falling on the mountains. As I walk with the ghosts of fallen leaves among black arms of wood, I feel how the rawness of these lands, the danger of the mountains, the perils of this place, does not seem to interfere with the gentleness of the first snow falling on our mountains' peaks. From pine to pine, from root to root, that snow will gently travel down here, making everything that I deeply recognize look totally different. 
You see, different is not scary. We live our lives stuck in the again and again. Also, through repetitions, we can choose to transform. Look outside. Good morning guys, uh, it's such a beautiful autumn uh, day, so I came outside uh, to absorb uh, the really the last uh, beats of light uh, before the polar nights, absolutely astounding. I wanted to, um, uh, to tell you uh, a little bit what has happened in the past days, because I think that this thing could help actually many people. Uh, mm. Always pay attention to the flies around you. Uh, in the past days, I have had, as many of you might know, I have had a pink eye in both eyes. So I started observing, I felt it the first time I was in the Vida in Salt Fille filming. So mm, for every room that I would change, I would just lift my head and there was this thick, uh, black fly above my head. It was not flying in the windows, you know, it was not flying normally as they do, you know, on window sills, but it was just always right above my head. So, and I got this explosion with this inflammation of the eyes, you know, Qatar in Norwegian. So mm, what I wanted to tell you is to pay attention to flies because mm, in, here in Sakmi, uh, we believe that um, when there is um, an abnormal um, uh, way of flying, or a fly indeed, that fly is an eye. So basically, mm, I know that I'm a huge uh, <laughs> collector of eyes because of the work that I do. Uh, so um, mm, envy is not necessarily a bad thing, you know, it's just often could just simply be uh, the suffering of a person or an individual for the impossibility of doing something and uh, that impossibility causes stress and that stress becomes an eye that shoots towards the person who has instead had maybe the possibility of doing something um, instead. So um, uh, I know that I'm a collector of these type, types of energies for obvious, very obvious reasons, you know. Uh, but what I wanted to tell you is that if you have something you don't usually suffer you know, like in my case, I do not suffer from pink eye, for <laughs> never ever, you know. So um, if you notice something that is um, abnormal, you know, uh, investigate the flies around you. So, um, and what you need to do is to return the shot. So the elf shot that we would call it here, you know, uh, and how you return, do you return the shot? You just head to the place where you have felt the pain, mm, the discomfort the first time and uh, you pick up uh, the um, uh, secretion of, uh, in my case, I had to do that. So collect secretion from uh, um, uh, the eye liquid and just uh, bury it. You just bury it in the place where you have felt it the first time. Mm, this is something, this is how uh, up here uh, in the north of Norway in sorcery, how it was done in sorcery. So how you would return a shot, you know, um, uh, effectively. So um, if you would like to, um, if you would like to adopt this type of sorcery, this is the way you have to remember, you have to get back to the place where you have felt that for the first time. So also if it means to have to travel. Uh, 
you needed the help of the land where the issue has manifested itself for uh, the first time that is what you need i hope this can help many of you guys i really hope so it's uh, something that has helped me mm, so many times and i just thought that uh, it would have been beautiful to share it with you so that it could help people who are in need Oh, look at this thing. It's just absolutely astounding. There is always a brand new light and a different perspective. Sitting on your side I'm not sure if time Could ever cure this mind As you're fading out of sight You're just a star of mine 